Hi, I'm Nina with the blog Sharing a Journey and today the journey that I'd love to share with you is into the trend Coastal Grandma Chic. Now I know some have some feelings about the trend being called Coastal Grandma. Well, I'm old enough to be someone's grandma, even though I'm not yet, but I feel like why not join in the trend? It's a beautiful trend. It's a lot of fun to put together these outfits and to kind of create the overall coastal grandma chic vibe. So today I'm taking you into my closet and also into my makeup drawer so that we can put together a fabulous look for a picnic and we're making Ina Garten's blondies. Now, what could be better than that for a coastal picnic? And so join me as we put together a look, um, a little menu, and a beautiful picnic. I hope that you will enjoy the coastal chic vibes as much as I enjoyed putting this together for you. So let's start with making the blondie. Here I'm adding white sugar and brown sugar into my mixer bowl. And I'm also going to be adding some butter. It's supposed to be butter at room temperature, but I um, had like kind of heated it in the microwave real quick and got it a little softer than what I was going for, but it'll still taste good. And here we're just going to beat it up using the paddle part of the mixer until it gets nice and creamy. Then we're going to add some vanilla. And we're just going to kind of have the beater going a little bit slower. And then we're going to add the eggs. There are two eggs. We're going to add them one at a time. And I just gently drop one in and then the other. Next up, we're going to go ahead and sift the dry ingredients together. I think this is an important step. It helps to incorporate the ingredients all together so that there isn't just a mouthful of salt somewhere or, or it doesn't raise properly. And while the beater is going slowly, we're just going to gently add the flour mixture in and let it fully incorporate. Then I'm going to stir in the chocolate chips. Um, and oh, does that look good or what? Oh, I was just trying to avoid like just eating the batter raw. It is so, so good. With the baking out of the way, I thought we would turn to makeup and creating that coastal, chic, really glowy makeup. So I'm starting with a sunscreen. This is an SPF 50, um, and it has a very, very glowy finish. You can find all the details to the products I'm using in the description box below. Next up is the Dior foundation. I use this foundation pretty much every day. It blends in beautifully and it kind of adapts well to whatever the primer that you choose to use underneath. Next up comes my Charlotte Tilbury uh, bronzer. You can tell that I've used a lot of this. It is a gorgeous bronzer. Really gives a beautiful natural finish, and that's what we're going for today. Next up is the Peau de Clay Cream Blush. We did a whole video and blog post on cream blushes, um, and this one was a winner. And I'm just going to blend it in for a super, super natural kind of look. And I just love how it just kind of makes that little bit of a glow. Next up, I, I went deep, deep, deep into my makeup kit for the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I've used this off and on for years. It's a great palette for kind of that natural look. And finally, like a dusting of a little bit of my favorite mascara. Next up, I'm reaching for the Costas uh, Lip Balm. This is going to give that very natural kind of a look to my lips. Just a little bit of color, not a lot, and I'll blend it out with my fingers so that there's just a little color and definition. Finally, I like to just do a quick dust and make sure that everything is really glowy, add a little bit of eyebrow gel to my eyebrows, and I think we're done with this look. Next up, let's go into my closet. We grabbed out a pair of 
um, lovely linen trousers by Aritzia. I bought them last year, love the pleating detail. And I'm adding a belt with kind of a crocodile embossed detail to it. And this is to kind of create a little bit of a waistline and also some detail. When you're doing white on white on white, sometimes it's a good idea to just add a little extra punch. Next up, I'm using my very favorite um, J. Crew button-up, and I'm doing a technique that is a little bit on trend right now, and it's where you wrap the, the shirt and just tuck it into your pants. And this is perfect for a very casual day at the beach like we're gonna have, a, a perfect for a picnic or something like that. And of course, we're just gonna like push up the sleeves and pop the collar, and there we go. There's our look. Earlier in the day, Roger mixed together some wonderful lobster, big huge chunks of lobster with just a light uh, bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of lemon juice to make a very simple lobster salad. Um, and then we made a little bit of broccoli slaw and of course you have to have the potato chips to go with it. Doesn't that look amazing? And then, of course, we're Southern, we love the iced tea, and there is the blondie. Isn't that beautiful? Nothing ever felt as good Or as easy As when we were young Oh, oh, oh Though I felt misunderstood it was a pleasure running away 